Hello and welcome to this video. It's River Boker again. I'm not sure. Did I ever play him? I, I, I always got white, yeah? I always got white. What's the first black game? So with g3, it's an interesting variation in general. I mean, it's also an interesting way of playing for white. Let's see how we handle this. Queen d3 is um, not the most challenging move. Does it why does it display two two against two lifetime score? Hmm. But this is, looks like three. I hmm. um, don't quite get this. <laughs> it's not so important, but why why does it display two against two? Hmm. That's odd. Um, yeah, I think you just castle here. If I remember this correctly. It's been a while since I checked those things. Six. I'm, I'm. I'm wondering about c5 after d6. Hmm. I wonder about queen c7 <laughs> if I can do that. There, there is sometimes um, you can sometimes do this and just go to b8 after knight b5. Played that quite quickly. I mean, this is actually if you don't get any immediate benefit from this move, that does this doesn't help at all because like d6, uh, sorry, a6 is something that uh, I would have played anyhow. So d6 now. Let's start with that. But I don't know if a6 is really helping me. But yeah, I probably have to do it. I mean, if like if he goes back queen to c7, we get to the point where c4 is just hanging. And just knight takes c4, white, white cannot allow really. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's maybe necessary. Uh, if it is, um, things are fine for me. Okay, now, what now? Rook b8. You would really like to, to move the bishop someday. Okay, yeah, there are some I, some possible setups here that I'm not sure about really. Do 
Do I want to play b6 in such a situation or it's tough to say. Um, uh, this was the other thing that I was not sure about. Uh, that bishop is just on f2. He is doing threatening knight a6. Yeah. And knight d3. Mm, okay, I shouldn't have played f5. <sighs> Especially knight d3 is an absolute pain. Okay, this covers b8. My f5 was, was a bad decision. I shouldn't have done that. In particular, considering that I was probably very okay with normal moves, let's say. What, what is he doing here? I really don't get it. Okay. Bishop takes or queen takes. No time. Want want is on c six. Uh, anyway, ah, I can take and take b eight. I'm such a moron. Ah, no, 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 no. Such a, it's such a, eh, should not be there. That was a, a totally winning position. And now no idea what's going on. Yeah, maybe it's still okay. But the two rooks are always difficult to play against. He just threatens one check. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, it, I know it looks like made, but I have the checks here. Double attacking rook and pawn on g3. Wow, Whew. that was tough. That was tough. Oh. And okay, a bit unnecessary. Okay, so like here, this is a theoretical position already. Uh, still, I mean, um, and a good one because white has played queen d3, which is uh, a theoretically somewhat dubious move. It is um, better to play bishop d2, after which um, I think black is okay, as I analyzed in my in my book.
but um, it's not um, nothing nothing special of course I got the numbering wrong let me it's a bit late <laughs> but just before I make it worse the next video that is four five five eight actually um, okay so Queen d3 and the the reason why this is imprecise is exactly this move order here or the sequence here you get this double pawns to play against. White, of course, has files and the, the great diagonal on g2. It, I think, um, everything considered, um, black is fine. Knight b5, going back. Oh, queen c5 is also an idea. Okay, but queen b8 is, is a normal move. Castles d6. I think I'm just doing quite normal things here. D6 is actually not liked a lot by the engine, which wants to play bishop c5, which is, yeah, yeah, looks looks fine. Then a6 and d6, yeah, why not? Okay. Queen to b4, that, that's the kind of move you can easily miss. Remarkable, yeah, I'm trying to take here. And d6 hangs, of course. Yeah, it was a, bit, a lot better. It was a lot better for him. And here I'm very okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, here it's hmm, difficult to not take on e5 at some stage. And he did so immediately. Yeah, the engine wants to play f5 immediately here. f5, f4. Okay, it's not a bad move. a4. Bishop c5 feels also quite logical to me. Engine doesn't like it. Knight e1, knight d3, okay. Okay, rook b1, f5. It took me ages to see bishop a7, yeah? A lot, really a long time. And now I'm, I'm in great shape. And this I didn't get at all, I was like, Putting the knight onto completely into the wilderness here. <laughs> yeah, take, take, and yeah, this should not have any further excitement, but it did. Okay, this this wasn't the best. I was just doing it for simplicity's sake. And bishop c6, the engine actually likes. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I, I, I played something stupid. I mean, I was really not liking this, but it seems, it seems, I'm, it seems I'm winning. Ah, it's stupid. Yeah, King, Queen F1, of course. Yeah, just just wins everything. But I was somehow panicky in this situation. And now he didn't make the draw. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was again. I was a bit in panic here. H six is a draw, probably. That loses though. Yeah, I'm winning too much stuff. Rook e seven is the only way to draw. That's not very intuitive. the house now hmm, yeah yeah it could have been a draw if you repeat it but I mean, all in all I should um, it's not totally undeserved that I won this it was winning most of the time yeah but but still very tricky to play yeah thanks a lot for watching